Hi, first graders. Today we are reading a story called President's Day by Anne Rockwell and its pictures by Lizzie Rockwell. So today we're talking about the point of view that's who is telling the story. So as I read President's Day, I want you to think, who's telling this story? Is it someone in the book or maybe someone not in the book? President's Day is when we celebrate the birthdays of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. They were both born in February many years ago. They were both very good presidents of our country, of the United States of America. Grown-ups vote every four years to choose the president of the United States. Each person votes for the person he or she believes will make the best leader. They don't all agree. So ever so whoever gets the most votes becomes president. We decided to put on President's Day assembly program, telling the rest of our school some things we learned about some of our presidents. We worked hard getting ready, painting and cutting, stirring and cooking, flour paste, and tearing strips of newspaper for paper and mache. Sam, Evan, Sarah, and me, Michiko wore the mountain of paper mache we made. Hello, everybody. We are Mount Rushmore, they said all together. The faces of presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln are carved 60 feet high on our hand granite cliff. Now, each of these presidents will tell you about themselves. I was George Washington. That's because my birthday is the same as his. I was born on February 22nd, six years ago, but George Washington was born more than 200 years ago. Good morning, I said in a deep voice. I led the American people when they fought to be free from the King of England. We won, so I was elected the first president of a brand new country called the United States of America. Abraham Lincoln was very, very tall. And Charlie is the tallest kid in our class. I'm the 16th president of the United States, he said. I kept the United States together when it split in two. I said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And I meant it. We fought a long war to keep our nation together. That's why it's called the United States of America. United means many stick together like one. Nicholas is a good writer who can always think of just the right word. When he came on stage wearing a red wig with a short pigtail in back, he just sat at a desk writing with a pen made of a feather. Everyone waited patiently while he scowled and scratched his head, crumbling pieces of paper and tossed them into the wastebasket. Finally, he cried out, at last it's done. He stood up, bowed to the audience and said, Good morning, my name is Thomas Jefferson, third president of the United States. I wrote something called the Declaration of Independence that told why we wanted to be free from England. Um, it's pretty good if I do say to myself. He started to read what he wrote, but suddenly, Jessica came galloping out on a hobby horse. Good morning, she shouted. My name is Theodore Roosevelt, but you can call me Teddy. I'm the 26th president of the United States. When I was a kid, I was sick a lot and couldn't go out to play. But when I grew up, I was healthy and strong and loved the outdoors. I wanted a lot of this big, beautiful land of all, to always be wild. That's why we set aside more land to be national parks where plants and animals could always be wild. Pablo and Ev Evelyn came on on stage carrying the long mural we had painted of giant redwood trees, the Grand Canyon, Old Faithful sprouting, and the animals in the Everglades. The rest of us joined them, Mount Rushmore, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, and Teddy Roosevelt on his horse. We bowed while everyone in the audience clapped for a long time. Back in the classroom, we had an election. 
everyone wrote the name of someone who'd made a good leader on a piece of paper. I wrote Pablo's name because he's smart and never mean. We put each piece of paper in a box. Mrs. Madoff counted the votes. The person whose name appeared most often would win the election. Guess what? I won! Just like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt, and today's president of the United States. Now I'm the president of Miss Madoff's class. When I grow up, I want to be the first woman president of the United States of America. Wouldn't that be great? After all, I have the same birthday as George Washington. The end. So who was telling the story? What point of view was it from? Was it first person, a person who was in the book, like, and it had words like I, me, or mine? Or was it third person, someone who was not in the story? That's your seesaw question today. Who was telling the story? What point of view was it in?